Hey you guys, it's Christina from Rawfully Organic and Fully Raw. <laughs> and I'm here today because you're going to see me laughing. I was actually joking with a friend um, about my, our cultures and about the foods that our cultures eat. And we both thought it would be absolutely hilarious <laughs> if I made a raw Mediterranean dish for you guys while midst belly dancing. Well, any of you guys who know me will know that I'm half Lebanese, half Ecuadorian, and my mother used to be a belly dancer, and I grew up with her and my aunts all belly dancing, midst eating tons and tons of Lebanese food. So, I have gone and dressed myself up today <laughs> because I thought it would be awesome, hilarious, and really entertaining to have you guys watch me make for you a raw Mediterranean tabbouleh while midst belly dancing. The ingredients in this salad for any typical like Arabic tabbouleh are curly parsley, sometimes Italian parsley, tomatoes, the juice of lemons, some people add cucumbers um, and green onions. The other ingredient that's typically involved is an ingredient called couscous, which is a soaked wheat. But because we're making a raw salad today, I'm replacing it with cauliflower, which is a great substitute, and that was also an idea inspired by my friend Victoria Arnstein. So, I've got on my bangles, I've got on my <laughs> shaker, and we're gonna make raw tabbouleh for you and pump up the Shakira. Let's do it. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start chopping up really finely all of the curly parsley. Some people like to use Italian parsley, but I love curly parsley. And when you make tabbouleh, you've gotta cut it really, really, really small because it's all about how small you can get the parsley. For this one salad, I'm probably gonna be using for myself about four or five heads of parsley and then I may even be adding a little bit more after I add in the lemon juice. Okay, so once you get all of the parsley fine chopped in the bowl, the next thing you're gonna wanna add are the tomatoes. And the tomatoes, you wanna make sure, if you can, I always like to use, or my mother always taught me to use, my grandmother always taught me to use, um, the bigger tomatoes. Um, I love cherry tomatoes and I think that cherry tomatoes work great in this, but this recipe particularly is all about chopping things as fine as you can and having all of the juices and the flavors mixed together and when you use the big tomatoes this gives a chance for all of the juice to kind of seep in with the parsley and seep in with the lemon juice and seep in with all that so the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to chop up the tomatoes and we're going to add those in. Once you add in the tomato, you kind of want to make sure that you have enough. So you kind of want to mix it in there a little bit and make sure you can get all the parsley kind of soaked up with the tomato juice if you can. Right, you want to make sure that you have enough tomato. As you can kind of see that it's an equal mix now of about tomato and parsley. And now I'm going to add in the cauliflower. And the secret to this is you want to get this chopped as finely as you can, almost to the point of where it feels like you're just going to be sprinkling it on top. So, in order to make this process speed up a little bit more, I'm going to chop up the cauliflower and then I'm going to put it in a food processor and I'm just going to let it spin with the whirl blade. That way I can just sprinkle the cauliflower onto my salad. Alright, so let's take this over to the food processor. I'm basically just going to chop off these little bits here. I'm going to add this into my food processor. Now that I'm all warmed up and dancing for you, we are going to finally chop in the green onion. So we probably don't need too much of this. Um, 
Onion is already very strong, so I'm probably just going to use about seven or eight of these, and if I need to add more, I will. And I'm just going to finally chop these on in, like really, really, really small. You can always add in a lot more onion if you want. I'm not really an oniony person, but I know some people who probably would have added in about 15 or so of the yellow, the, the green onion just to give it more of a mix. But I only used about seven or eight because I just want it to mix in there just a little bit, right? I don't want too much of an onion flavor in mine. All right, so we've added in the parsley, we've added in the tomato, we've added in the green onion, and we've added in the cauliflower. And the last step to making this an epic tabbouleh is simply to put in the lemon juice and let it marinate in your fridge probably for at least 30 minutes. The longer you let it marinate, the more the flavors kind of soak together and get juiced. So the only tool that I really use for this is this handheld um, citrus squeezer, which I love. And I'm probably gonna use the juice of about five lemons here. So I'm gonna chop these in half and then I am going to just simply squeeze the juice over my salad, mix it in with my hands, and then stick it in the refrigerator for later eating. All right, so let's juice these in. So I've just squeezed in my last lemon, and you can tell that it just smells unbelievable at this point, right? Because all of these flavors from the tomatoes and the onions and the lemon and all the parsley squeeze in there, like my nose is just kind of going out of control right now. So we're just gonna mix in all of that lemon as much as you can. Get your hands dirty, right? And at this point, a lot of the juices are gonna be soaking to the bottom. So you wanna kinda take your hands and you kinda wanna flip it up as much as you can. And make sure you get in all those flavors at the top, right? Mmm, yum. All right, so once you do this, I'm sure your mouth is watering right now because I'm having a hard time not taking my hand and just stuffing it in my face. Um, all right, so this is as easy as it gets for the tabbouleh recipe. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put this in my fridge and I'm gonna save it for later. And um, yes, I hope that you've enjoyed this recipe because it is absolutely one of my favorites. It is one of the ones that we eat frequently in my house, especially when I'm with my entire family, especially my Lebanese side. And I have actually just posted this recipe on our website at rawfullyorganic.com for you, so you can check this out and enjoy it throughout the week. You can also visit my website at fullyraw.com, or you can visit our Facebook page for recipe updates and our YouTube channel. You can definitely subscribe here if you want to see more. <laughs> belly dancing, tabbouleh making, YouTube type videos, and I really hope that you enjoyed this video. <laughs> I have been laughing and having an awesome time making it for you.